The construction at Amy G. Carter Stadium didn't stop the TCU football team from having their spring game last Saturday. A lot of the focus this spring has been on who will replace Andy Dalton, sophomore Casey Pawhall, or redshirt freshman Matt Brown. Coach Patterson says both have gotten valuable experience in practice. The negative is we only have two scholarship quarterbacks out here. The, the positive is they're getting all the reps. That means we're growing up. Because of practice rules, media was only allowed to tape the first 10 plays of the scrimmage. Later in the game, true freshman Derek Gilden intercepted a pass for a touchdown. Patterson had mixed emotions about the play. Head coaches, it's always a plus and a minus. I was excited he picked it for a touchdown. I was not excited Matt Brown threw it. So it's, you know, it's head coaches, you never get a chance to just go, hooray, this is a great day. Patterson was also unhappy about the play of the offensive line. You know, like I just told him, here, we got a long way to go. Too many sacks. No, I wasn't, did not like what I saw today. After last year's 13-0 season, Patterson said he is having fun teaching young athletes to fill the positions of players who graduated. And I am still excited. I think they have worked hard. We just, you know, at some positions we've got a long way to go and they've got to make it important. And, uh, but me, it's, it's been a lot more fun for me because now I keep my mind in, you know, I don't say, well, here he knows that. You know, it's every day I need to be thinking, well, how do I teach a freshman to grow up and be a senior? Coach Patterson said the Frogs will practice a few more times this week before concluding their spring practice session. At Amy G. Carter Stadium, I'm David Stein, TCU News Now.